and Stu Irwin in Trouble with Father. Here's Stu now. He's had a tough day at school and has come home for some well-earned rest and quiet. Dear, I'm so glad you're home. This hot water bottle leaks and we've run out of bicarbonate of soda. Oh, Mother, please hurry. I'll be right up, Joyce. Well, hurry. Joyce sounds like she's dying. What's the matter with her? Just a plain old-fashioned stomach ache. Oh. Run down to the store and get me some bicarbonate, will you, dear? Oh, hurry. Well, how did it happen? It's that contest. Joyce and Jackie did a lot of voting. What contest? And what has voting got to do with the stomachache? It's very complicated, dear. It has something to do with voting for the most popular member of the school. Oh, oh while you're at it, will you get me a new hot water bottle? But I'd like to know. Bicarbonate of soda and a new hot water bottle. Yes, yes, I would. High school popularity contest. Each purchase a vote. Buy now and win for your favorite. Hmm. Good afternoon, Mr. Irwin. Hello, Mr. Logan. Whose idea was that? Mine. Isn't it wonderful? Serves two purposes. A competitive spirit among the youngsters and, of course, helps business, too. I can imagine. But I don't think I like it. Well, I think it's a very factory, and I go to the dance with Johnny and Hot Bill, if I were you. Oh, hello, Mr. Irwin. Hello, Nancy. Have you heard about the contest? Yes, I have. <laughs> I wish you had consulted with me before deciding on this contest. Voting for the most popular girl and boy, it makes for hard feelings. Well, I don't know. They seem to be having a lot of fun. <laughs> and then again, our soda fountain business has gone up 38 and a fourth percent. Now I know where she got her stomach ache. I want some bicarbonate of soda and a hot water bottle. Yes, sir. How much soda? Hmm? Say, Nancy. Yes, Mr. Irwin. How many colossal angel flips did Joyce and Jackie have? Gosh, they did a lot of voting. They must have had six or seven each. Two boxes. Uh, you should feel highly complimented. Your daughter and Nancy Johnson are running neck and neck. Mm -hmm. And I think you're exaggerating a harm, a contest. Mm -hmm. Did you mention something about hot water bottles, small, medium, or big? The biggest. Yes. I'm sure I can get the girls in the cooking class to vote for me. Can you get your campfire girls to go in, too? Sure. And I could get the cleaner, the grocer, the plumber, and all the people we do business with. You most certainly will not. Why not, Dad? You want me to win, don't you? Voting for yourself? That would be a fine victory, wouldn't it? Well... Hmm. You'd still be voting if your stomach had held out. I'm going to have that stupid contest stopped. Oh, Dad, you wouldn't. Your father's right, Joyce. It isn't a popularity contest. It's a sales promotion. Imagine having to buy things to be able to vote. It's the wrong kind of competition. And while I'm principal of the high school, that kind of thing is out. Ain't it a shame? Seven colossal flips gone to waste. Oh, Nancy. Hello, Joyce. Hi, the most awful thing happened. Dad decided to stop the contest. Oh, no kidding? Yeah, he says it's the wrong kind of competitive spirit. I see. Well, I can understand. Oh, yeah, I knew you would. But I wonder if the rest of the kids will. Well, some of them might be narrow-minded. They might say your father stopped the contest because his daughter couldn't win. Oh, they wouldn't say that. They might even say that the principal wouldn't like to have his daughter show up so badly in the voting. But I don't feel that way, Joyce. Honest, I don't. Even if I do have the most to lose. You? Why? Well, darling, you know, I was so far ahead of you and everybody else that it really wasn't a contest at all. Oh, you were, were you? Yes. But let me assure you I bear no hard feelings. After all, you're almost my best friend. Listen here, my almost best friend. If I couldn't beat you in any old popularity contest, I'd, I'd just die. You almost did. Seven colossal angel flips, remember? Ooh! Mmm, looks good. I have to put them in the icebox. Mm. Oh, Daddy, please don't 
don't stop the contest, please. I thought we discussed that thoroughly, dear. Well, he certainly did, and I'm not going to change my mind. Oh, Daddy, you've just got to. Oh, that horrible Nancy Johnson. Joyce, that's no way to speak about a good friend. That was yesterday. Well, she practically said that the reason you're stopping the contest is because you know I can't win. Oh, that's ridiculous. I know, but she'll tell everybody, and I'll feel like a fool. Oh, I hate her. I hate Nancy Johnson. Did I hear my daughter's name mentioned? Oh, uh, yes, I guess you did. Uh, Joyce was just telling us how much she likes Nancy. Yes, that's it. Uh, oh, weren't you, Joyce? I was. I mean, uh, of course. Yes. Uh, we, we get along beautifully. <laughs> beautifully. Well, goodbye, Mr. Johnson. Goodbye. Lovely girl, Joyce. Lovely. We rang the bell, but nothing seemed to happen, so we walked right in. I told you about that bell, Stu. I'll fix it first thing in the morning. Oh, don't let him, June. Don't let him. Ever since he fixed our vacuum cleaner, we've been using the broom. Oh, you did not. Are we going to play bridge? Oh, you sure. Better. We're going to get our 28 cents back. Well, good. Let's get in there and get started. This is war, Harry. We're going to kill you tonight. You only think so. Del and I have got a whole new set of signals. One kick for a spade and two kicks for a diamond. Believe me, June, my shins are black and blue from practicing. Well, don't kick me. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard about the contest over at Logan? Practically nothing else. I wanted to have a little talk with you about that. Joyce is taking it seriously. That's all it's Nancy. Popularity contest, kids fighting. I'm against it. I hear there are actually people in the neighborhood who are buying things just to see their children win. Uh, I pass your bids, too. Uh, one diamond. The only thing it's good for is Mr. Logan's cash register. Mm. I guess he needs the money. Wanted me to buy an interest in the store. I pass. Can you imagine what would happen if Joyce won? Her head would be out to there. She'd want better dresses and dramatic lessons and goodness knows what. You can't refuse me, Daddy, because after all, I'm the most popular, and I have to live the part, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it would be the same with Nancy. We'll just have to put a stop to it in self-defense. Mm. Right. I'll take it up with Logan first thing in the morning. I'm glad you both feel that way. Two clubs. If there's one thing I hate, it's jealousy between grown-ups. Uh, two spades. What do you mean? Nancy told us Joyce is in the contest, but she hasn't got a chance. Why not? Well, I hate to be one of those parents who brag, but I guess everybody will be voting for Nancy. Is that so? It's your bid, darling. Mm. My daughter is popular enough. She'll get plenty of votes. Probably. But I suggest you buy her some little thing to make her feel good when, uh, <laughs> I mean, if she loses. The contest isn't over yet, and you think your daughter has already won it. Uh, silly to get angry about it. Even if she loses, Joyce is a very nice little girl. Very fine. Hi, mm. Pat. You're pretty sure my daughter is going to lose, aren't you? Well, I hate to agree with my wife, but my daughter is so popular, I hardly ever get a chance to use the telephone, Moon House. I never use the phone. Joyce is always on it. Please, everybody, let's play cards. I thought you didn't agree with this contest. I don't. And I don't intend to go out and buy votes so my daughter can win. Are you inferring that I'm going to buy votes for my daughter? Stu, please control yourself. Let's play cards. That's it, Pa. You're the dummy. Yeah. Good morning, honey. Oh, good morning, Dad. Is something wrong, honey? Oh, no, I'm all right. Worrying about that popularity thing? I mean, about my wanting to stop it? Well... I've got good news for you. I spoke to the Johnsons last night, and I've decided to let the kids have the contest. Oh, Daddy, you wouldn't. You uh, couldn't. Well, I thought that's what you wanted. Oh, I'm absolutely ruined. You've got to stop the contest now. For heaven's sakes, why? Well, Nancy Johnson's just zillions of votes ahead. I went oh. down to the drugstore this morning. She's got a whole glee club there buying and voting for her. Well... Oh, Daddy, I'll never forgive you. Oh, no. Now, she doesn't want the contest. So I heard. Those Johnsons. 
because they didn't want the contest. Not much they didn't. I think it's shameful behavior. It certainly is. Why, they're actually contributing to the delinquency of their own minor. Absolutely. Buying votes. It's sordid. Mm. June, we ought to teach them a lesson. We won't, though. No, sir. If we behaved as disgracefully as they are, why, well, we'd be just as juvenile as they are. You're perfectly right, Stu. We mm. couldn't think of buying votes. No, of course not. That's the only way they can get their daughter to win. Well, let her win. Joyce will get over it. Yeah, certainly she will. She's made of sterner stuff. She's an Irwin. Well, I guess I'd better finish the dishes. Are you going to stay around the house? Huh? Oh, um, yes, I think I'll finish reading my paper. Good morning, Mr. I have a little errand I want you to do. Sure thing. Run down to the drugstore and get me a few things, will you? Yes. Uh, holding for Miss Joyce, Mr. Oh, of course not. I mean, I always buy things at the drugstore, don't I? Yes, sir. It's all right to vote the sales slips up, too, ain't it? Oh, I suppose so. It won't do any harm. Uh, yes, sir. Because uh, I sure hope she win. I voted four times for myself yesterday. Did you? Well, that's nice. Now, let's see. What do I want? I want uh, about a dozen bottles of Coke and uh, four packages of razor blades and a couple of dozen bars of soap and six packages of uh, shaving cream and about... Uh, well, give me some shaving lotion, too, Willie. Shaving lotion? Yeah. You know the kind of using those tall green bottles. And let me see now. Um, Jackie, come here a minute, will you? I'm not hungry. Well, you shouldn't be after six stacks of pancakes. I want you to do me a little favor. How much do I get? I need a quarter. I said a favor, Jackie. You don't get paid for doing favors. I need some things at the drugstore. Uh-oh, the contest. Not a word to your father. I'm way ahead of you, but I still think it's worth a quarter. Blackmailer. All right, you'll get your quarter. Now, let's see. I need some hair rinse, shoe polish, some absorbent cotton. A quart of ice cream? All right, a quart of ice cream. Willie. Yes? Shh. Don't ring the doorbell. I'll let you in. I cannot ring the doorbell. i got both hands full. Yes, sir. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll put it in the closet. In the closet? Yeah, Bill, hurry. where are you? Oh, oh Willie. I called you. Why didn't you answer me? Uh, I didn't hear you. Uh, something the matter with this door. It won't close. What were you doing in the closet? Uh, looking for the hose. Now, what would the hose be doing in there? You mean it isn't? Certainly not. Oh, well, uh, oh, 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 I... I, I, I <laughs> What's going on in there? Uh, nothing. I nothing at all. See. Hey, Mom! I got the stuff. All right, dear. I'll be right there. What stuff? Oh, uh, just some things. What things? Uh, just some groceries from the store. Oh, well, then I'll help you put them away. Oh, no, you won't. You look for the hose. I'll take care of everything. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, you still have it? Never do that again. It's mighty dark, and hand darkness make me suffer. Oh, I'm sorry, Willie. Here, let's put it up on the shelf. <laughs> oh. It's all excitement. I'm winning the contest. You are? Well, that's nice. I had no idea I was so popular. Mr. Logan told me confidentially that there were two big orders with a lot of votes for me. Is that so? Well, yeah, and <laughs> Willie sent down all his relatives to buy things. Oh, gosh, there must have been a hundred of them. Well, good for Willie. I mean... <laughs> I've got to tell Mother. <laughs> Has it ever occurred to you that we have doors? Sure, but that makes it easy. Oh. Prepare yourself for a shot, Pop. Now, no more quarters. You got your allowance last Saturday. It's not 
that. It's about Joyce. Hmm? She's taking a shellacking down at the drugstore. Oh, no, you're mistaken. She just told me she's winning. That was ten minutes ago. Huh? Mr. Johnson sent down all the people from his bank to buy things. Well, uh, no good. Oh. Well, um, th there'll be other voters. <laughs> Mr. Logan says he's ending the contest tonight. You better think of something, Pop. I told you last night I'm not having any part of it. Okay by me. If you want your daughter to be a social leper. Huh? Social. Hmm. Hello, Logan's Drugstore. I want to put in an order. I'll be over to pick it up later. Good afternoon, Mr. Irwin. I hope you're not too displeased with me. No, I understand your contest ends soon. Promptly at 8 o'clock this evening. Oh. The winner will be announced in the morning papers. <laughs> They're putting up your order. It'll be ready in a minute. Oh, um, there's a few things I forgot to order. Uh, um, I'll take a um, couple of boxes of those lifesavers. Orange, lemon, or cherry. All kinds. And uh, some of those... Uh, Mr. Irwin, what's wrong? Shh. May I help you, Mr. Johnson? Yes, a few little odds and ends. Got any four-way cold tablets? Oh, yes, sir. How many? Oh, about six dozen. Uh, better make it a gross. And some cough drops. I catch a lot of colds. I'll have some cough drops. I get colds, too. Y yes, sir. Anything else, Mr. Johnson? Yes, some corn pads. Uh, some razor blades and a uh, couple of bottles of shampoo. I'll have the corns and everything he orders. Can't we transact our business in the usual way, Mr. Irwin? No, no, no. I've always wanted to buy things this way. I want a hot water bottle, an alarm clock, and some aspirin. Nice to see you. I was just thinking about you. <laughs> it's amazing the places we meet. <laughs> well, it's a small world, isn't it? Shopping, I suppose. No, I just thought I might find Joyce here. Oh, what a coincidence. I was looking for Nancy, too. Well, they're uh, not here, are they? There's no use staying, is there? Uh, no, no. I... You, you! Oh, I might have known. Sneaking behind counters. Be sneaky. What about you? Well, I, I lost a cufflink. Oh, 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 oh. I thought maybe you were buying things. Me? Are you suggesting? Why, that's the most ridiculous idea I... Your order is ready, Mr. Irwin. Oh. <laughs> are all those cufflinks? Oh, never mind what they are. Maybe you can tell me what you are doing in the store. Certainly. Just happened to be passing by, and I remembered that I lost my wallet here a couple of days ago. A likely story. I'll have you understand that my honesty has never been questioned. Oh. Here's the order you phoned in, Mr. Johnson. Uh, oh, a wallet, huh? <laughs> and you're the man who said you didn't want this content. And you said you didn't want it either. And here you are, buying things. If you can do it, I can do it. I'll, um, I'll take a bottle of this. Oh. Well, if that's the way you want to play the game, I'll take uh, that whole shelf of things and that other shelf, too. Oh, so that's the way it's going to be, huh? Come here. Um, how much are these? A penny apiece. I'll take one. And I'll have a sales slip. Yes, sir. I'll have another no, one. No, no. You can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. Ha, <laughs> ha. I'll have another one. And one more. Uh, Mr. Logan... You want me, Mr. Johnson? Well, and one more. 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 
And one more. One more. One more. Would there be anything else, Mr. Irwin? Yes, give me one more. What are you doing behind there? Nobody has a better right, have they, Mr. Logan? Absolutely, Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson has just become a partner in the store. What? Always wanted to be in the drug business, and besides, $8,000 will buy a lot of sales slips. <laughs> no. Yes. Just want you to know that your business will be appreciated, Mr. Irwin. Would there be anything else? No. Nothing at all. Shall I send your order, Mr. Irwin? Yes. Send it to your partner. Oh, baby, I fixed everything. Fixed what? What are you talking about, Mother? I fixed Stu Irwin's little red wagon. All right, all right. He tried to pull a fast one buying penny gum. I still don't understand. He bought the gum. I bought the store. Honey, you practically got the contest right in your pocket. Oh, Father, you don't mean it. That's wonderful. Oh, I could kiss you. Go right ahead. Oh, this is the most wonderful thing that ever happened to me. I'm the most popular girl in the whole high school. The first thing I'll do is get a new permanent. Huh? And then I'm going to get a couple of new formals. I simply couldn't wear those old rags now. Now, listen. And then I'm going to take dramatic lessons. Oh, they'll be expensive, but I must, mustn't die. If you think you're going to spend money... But, Father, I'm the most popular girl in the whole high school. I have to live the part, don't I? As far as I'm concerned, the contest is a dead issue in this house. I don't want to hear any more about it. I suppose you're right, Daddy. You're popular enough for us, darling. You have lots of friends and they all love you. Mother's right. Winning a silly contest doesn't mean anything. Popularity is something you can't buy. Well, I'm sure glad you and Mother didn't waste a lot of money buying things. Well, as a matter of fact, I did purchase a few small articles. <laughs> oh, Dad, you're wonderful. Mm, it was nothing much. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Mother's the only practical one in the family. <clears throat> Drink more slowly, dear. There's the paper. I can just see Nancy's face when she reads the announcement she won. Don't worry about it, Joyce. We know how she won. Everybody does. Does uh, anybody want to see it? No, I don't even want to look at it. I pass. I wonder how the basketball team made out last night. I... We won. 87 to 86. Oh, no, it's impossible. Why not? We've got a good team. It's unbelievable. Hmm? Dad, look. Huh? Look at it. Look at what? I... Stu oh. Irwin, easy victor in store contest. High school principal wins popularity vote. Gee, I didn't know I was even in it. They must have made a mistake. Oh, I don't care if it is a mistake. Huh? Anybody winning is better than Nancy Johnson. Oh, I'm going to call my friend. Gee, I, I, I'm a little dizzy. I'm still hungry. I'll go make some more coffee, dear. <laughs> it's got to be a mistake. It's the craziest thing I ever heard of. It's no mistake, Stu. When are you going to fix that darn bell? As soon as I can get up. Harry, tell me, what's this all about? You were right, Stu. When I told Nancy what had happened at the store yesterday, she figured that she had won already. She wanted clothes, dancing lessons, dramatic lessons, everything you said Joyce would want. I couldn't take it. I can't be the father to a popularity queen. I haven't got the stamina. So I voted $8,000 on really the most popular one in the school. <laughs> Harry, I really don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> We've been friends for too many years to quarrel like a couple of kids. Sure. Adele, <laughs> come in. Say hello to the winner. Uh -oh. Congratulations, uh, Stu. Thank you, Adele. Oh, hello. Hello. We just came over to pay our respects to the winner. <laughs> I always knew I had a popular husband, but not that popular. <laughs> <laughs> Will you have some coffee? Sure. Oh, oh I'll get the coffee. I'll get the coffee. Sit down, Harry. Thank you. Hey. June! June, what's all of this? They're mine, Stu. The things I bought at Logan's. <laughs> <laughs> June's the practical one. <laughs> We've got enough stuff to open a drugstore of our own. <laughs> Harry, 
How would you like to buy out the competition? <laughs> Look at all of that. <laughs> again next week when Gold Medal, America's number one all-purpose flower, and Wheaties Breakfast of Champions present Trouble with Father.